In this video, we'll be learning about .NET MAUI push notification handling when the app is in foreground or the background or the application is fully killed. So uh, we'll be discussing about Android push notification handling, then iOS push notification handling, plus we'll be discussing about the server configuration, how you will be adding some secrets to the push notification. And then when clicking on that push notification, then um, you will be extracting those secrets. So let's discuss about the secrets uh, and the uh, server configuration at first. So here, you, uh, if you have some type of controllers, then uh, here uh, you will be creating messages like this, where the title will be the title, the body will be the body that the push notification will handle. But uh, the main thing that uh, need to be uh, focused on is the data that you will be sending. So you will be sending the data like this, that is along with the title. So will be, you will be adding some GUIDs or some secrets over here like this. And then uh, this is the APNS message. Here you can to add some extra information uh, for the iOS uh, to get the data like some sounds or anything. Uh, you can add it over here for the iOS. This is not going to be handled by the Android, okay? So then only the push notification gonna work uh, means on the server side and you will be handling some try catch exceptions method also whenever uh, sending the data okay so our server configuration is completed uh, and now what happens on the mobile end side is uh, the android android part so on android part what i found was uh, using the plugin that is uh, using plugin.firebase.cloud messaging as a plugin uh, using this code works for android and ios but uh, it does not work when uh, when the user taps the notification uh, on the ios when the user is in foreground that is he's using the app if the user clicks on the notification then nothing happens so this method is not going to get triggered okay so you have to uh, uh, focus on uh, that part so let's discuss about the android at first so whenever the user clicks the notification then E dot not this is just a constant okay so you can just put any constraints like variable space something calls e dot so the center is the e and the notification dot the body so what happens is this is how my body is getting sent so this body is going to get uh, uh, for the android so android will take the data directly uh, from the body directly from the data okay so this is how we're gonna get for the android okay so if for the ios uh, what happens is this is how we are gonna extract the body if the application is fully killed okay so if the application is killed if the application is not running uh, running on the background or anything then this method is going to get triggered so this uh, uh, click method is going to work and this is how we are gonna extract the extra data uh, body body you can just add the uh, key we can give any key as you like but um, this is what uh, it favored me so i'll just add it the body so this is the body that uh, the ios is going to take from the data okay as extra value and then in the constant i'm saving the body uh saving uh, the body value okay so now the next thing is when the application is in uh, foreground uh, for ios okay so on the for the ios how we're going to handle is like this way okay so export uh, with the completion handler that is uh, whenever the user clicks on the notification okay then what happens so that you don't need to add this line to line of code you don't want that so you add a completion handler then this is how you're gonna uh, handle the push notification when the user is in the foreground and then we can get the data body and then do whatever you like so this is it so happy coding thanks for watching